So did it choose to walk that slow or, or what? I realize that, yes, it walks slow. However, I think this is a very good conductor for paranoia. If you let your guard down even once, it could mean your death. And since it is so slow, it'd be easy to forget about it. Welcome to day eight of my Scare Show 3, titled Halloween Hellhole. Let us begin. The plot! A teenager named Jay basically fucks a guy, and the guy gives her a sexually transmitted demon. Now this thing follows her around, and if it manages to catch up to her, it'll brutally attack and kill her. Which may look like someone you know, it could be a stranger in the crowd. Whatever it helps get close to you. That is something I really wish they dived in deeper into. The whole time this thing looks like different people, just not anyone Jay knows. It could have worked for a shocking twist, but I digress. This film has a very 70s-ish vibe. From the awesome musical score by Disasterpiece, to the style of everything. Now, to be honest, I thought I'd hate this movie. From all the negativity I read, I didn't get that hyped about it. That is, until I saw the movie for myself. And I am not sure if overhyping it killed the expectation people had when seeing this movie. What I see here is a well-crafted, thrilling, beautiful, and strongly performed urban legend. It definitely has a John Carpenter's Halloween vibe to it, and I enjoyed that. The characters seemed very dedicated to their roles, seemingly trying to be involved and blend into a 70s environment. This isn't a slasher movie, hell, it's barely even a supernatural horror movie. It's just this weird mesh of drama and fear with hints of paranoia for good measure. There are even some scenes in the movie that's made my jaw drop. It's just executed so well. There isn't much gore, but what there is of it is disturbing. Musical score, as I said before, Disaster Piece did an amazing job here. I have the score on my iPod and to listen to it when I take slow walks. Now even more so, especially after seeing the movie. Yeah, I had the songs on my iPod before I saw the movie. Way before, actually. This is a genuinely good Good film. It hits all the right beats for a dramatic thriller, and I dug it. Overall, I give It Follows a 4 out of 5. Lion Brian Gatto, host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments. And subscribe.